The Electricity Company of Ghana, ECG, last month proposed that its tariffs be increased by 148% for 2022 and with 7.6% average adjustments between the periods of 2023 and 2026. The proposed sharp increment, according to ECG, is due to the gap between the actual cost recovery tariff and PURC approved tariffs as well as the cost of completed projects. Similarly, the Ghana Water Company Limited also proposed an increment in its tariffs by over 300% to be able to at least recover its operational cost. The proposals have since generated huge public discussions with majority of the public kicking against the request. The Public Utilities and Regulatory Commission, PURC, is currently holding broad consultations with all stakeholders, including members of parliament, on the proposals and will make a final announcement on the agreed percentage increase it will allow. It has up to July 2022 to announce the new utility tariffs. But the former Minister for Power, Dr. Kwabna Donko, believes it will take more than a tariff adjustment to salvage the electricity company of Ghana from its current financial woes. In an interview with City Business News, Dr. Donko, who doubles as the ranking member on the Employment, Social Welfare and State Enterprises Committee in Parliament, underscored the need for ECG to deal with its perennial technical and managerial challenges instead of focusing on the tariff increment. ECG has a fundamental problem. It has a fundamental problem of non-collection. It has a fundamental problem of lethargic management. They have a fundamental problem of political and non-commercial interventions. Let me give you an example. ECG is currently making commercial and technical losses of 30%. By this, what do I mean? That if, if ECG buys power, 100 units of power, either from VRE or other generators, it is only able to sell 70 units. So no matter the markup you give them, it will not make up for the 30% loss. And the 30% losses are made up of technical losses because they have underinvested over the years and therefore the technical infrastructure leaks power when they are transmitting power on their distribution lines. And commercial losses. Commercial loss is a nice term for plain thievery. People stealing power. And therefore, if we don't plug the loopholes, the tariff adjustment will not be able to seal the financial who the ECG finds itself in.